high internet packing for a cruise. This is a big thing. You want to have everything you need. So what is it that you can take? What can't you take? And why not? So I've got a list over here on my computer. So I'm looking over here. That's why about of things that you can take and you probably should take with you and things that you can't take with you and will be confiscated if you take them, if you pack them. So on my packing list, and these are things, if you want them, pack them. If you don't want them, don't pack them. Ears, if you have Mickey ears, I don't wear them because my head is too small and they don't fit my head. My sister loves them and they're fun to take and everybody really likes them, it's really cool. Of course you can take your ears. People are like, can you really take Mickey ears or mini ears on a cruise? Yes, take them. Um, take your necessities, your clothes, take your toiletries, take your sunscreen, and try to have plenty of them because it can be expensive to replace contact solution and deodorant on a cruise ship, and they may not have what you need. Pack an extra bathing suit. So if you have one, maybe pack an extra one just because you don't want to wear a wet bathing suit. And if you don't have a random room to like let it sit out and dry when you're in port, then you may just be stuck letting it dry in the shower when everybody else is in there showering and it's just gonna stay wet so just take an extra swimsuit i always pack clothes for cool weather just because it can be really cold on the ship air conditioning is jacked up and inside those theaters and restaurants i get cold some people don't but it's always nice to have it in case you might get cold if you get cold easily pack clothes for you to dress in if you get cold Walking shoes, everything is close together on the ship, but you're still gonna be doing a lot of walking. You're gonna walk to your room several times a day probably because you keep things in there. You might take a nap. And if you get off in a port, you'll want nice shoes to walk in that aren't gonna give you blisters that are broken in. Don't take new shoes that you've never worn. That's silly. You're gonna get blisters. Wear shoes that you trust that you have worn before that are broken in and make your feet happy that you can walk in. Okay, something I've seen people take that is really cool, like um, an item to autograph. So you know the characters are all gonna be around on the ship. Some people take like a photo mat, so like the liner out of like a frame and they have the character sign that and then they get a picture taken on the ship and they take that home and they hang it on their wall and it looks really cool. I like, I have a sweatshirt that I take that I'm collecting signatures on and it's got Mickey and Donald on it and it's really cute, but just take something to have the character sign if that's something that you're into. Adults can carry on two bottles of wine per person or a six pack of beer per person. You can carry on as much soda as you want, as much water as you would like. It doesn't matter how old you are, you can carry, as much as you can carry, you can carry it on. You cannot pack it. So you can't pack your wine, you can't pack your beer, you can't pack your water, and you should not pack hard liquor. And we'll get into the don't pack stuff. If you like going to the movies and you like having like movie candy, so like you go to Walmart and you like get those little boxes of M&Ms for a dollar, pack those. You can take that. It's factory sealed, so it has to stay that way. If you get a sack of M&Ms and you've got it open, they're probably going to take it away from you if you pack it but it's cheaper to buy it at walmart out of the dollar bin than to buy it on the ship so just pack it with you sea sickness remedies you can pick these up at guest services like dramamine but it's always better to talk to your doctor if you'd like to use holistic like the bracelets or something like that or like ginger candies pack those with you if you don't want to take dramamine Something to think about like while you're packing is, are you gonna have any family photos taken? So there are lots of photo opportunities on the ship. And if you wanna have everybody dressed similarly or you know, wearing the same shirt, then you know, maybe pack clothes for family photo opportunities. If you have reservations at Palo or Remy, maybe think about the dress codes for those restaurants. Maybe all you're gonna pack is jeans and t-shirts, that's great but you can't wear those things to Remy. So if, if you've got dining reservations, you're gonna have to pack for, like according to their dress code. If it is your first time cruising, so this doesn't apply to Castaway Club members, but if it's your first time cruising, then you'll wanna pack a lanyard or something to keep 
your key to the world card and we talked about this in this is the key to the world card you have to have it all the time keep it with you keep it safe keep it with you don't lose it you've got to have it to get on the ship to get off the ship you've got to have it to charge things you've got to have it at the drill so it's important to keep your key to the world card with you so the lantern always makes that easy getting into the don't take list you cannot take pack a power strip so like one of those long ones you like wall plugs you cannot take one of those you can take a usb splitter so we've got this little it's like a i think it's called belkin it's from amazon and it we can plug eight usb cords into it and it plugs into one plug on like the desk in the stateroom you also cannot take an extension cord. However, you can, if you get on the ship early and you go right to guest services, you can ask them if they have one and they will provide you one, but you cannot take your own extension cord. An iron, don't take an iron. There are irons available for use in the laundry rooms. Don't pack one. Also a steamer, you don't need that. If you need something ironed, you can do it in the laundry facilities on board or you can ask like room service to do it for you. If there's like a laundry form in your closet and you just leave it and your clothes that you want done on your bed and your room storage will take care of it. Don't pack an alarm clock. You don't need one. There's one in the room and it works fine. You cannot take a folding chair or inflatable pool toys. There are chairs up on deck and if you need another one, I think they've got stacks of them somewhere. Don't worry about a chair. You don't need to take a chair. Um, inflatable pool toys you okay water wings for children are fine don't worry about your kids safety they've got like life vests for kids to wear on castaway key and things but don't take like your gigantic inflatable swan you don't need that musical instruments unless you are going to be performing on the ship and the ship has asked you to perform don't take a musical instrument it's just it's rude I love music, but not in my stateroom and not when I'm trying to sleep, you know? Sporting equipment, except for golf clubs. Some of the ports will actually, like they have port adventures where you can, they will take you to a golf course and you can golf that day. So you can take your own golf clubs if you need to. You can also rent them there, um, but don't take basketballs or footballs or soccer balls don't worry about that because they have those things on board on the sports deck so don't worry about it that's my pack this not that list for a disney cruise if you have any questions if you've got an item that you're thinking well can i take this leave it in the comments down below and i will answer your questions as best i can you'll see me really soon bye